Hi everyone, welcome to today's tutorial and in this video I will be showing you how you can create this trendy folded typography and let's dive right in. So the first thing we're going to do is create a new document. So for this video I will be sticking to this document which is 1000 by 1000 pixels and I will be giving a name to my document as well for the trendy folded typography yeah so you're free to choose any of these uh, size documents as you like it does it's not necessary that you have to stick with the same document size as I let's see here okay so the first thing I'm going to do is that I'm going to uh, create our background first which is a black color so over here in this layers panel I will double click on this and rename this to background I'll go over here to the rectangle tool and remove the stroke and over here from the fill option I will be choosing black click on my document and I will give the same uh, I will give the same dimensions as my document which is 1000 by 1000 pixels and with the help of the selection tool I will just drag my background over here like that and go ahead and block my layer so the reason why I'm blocking my layer is mainly because so that when I when I am making my this folded type of typography I do not accidentally remove it delete it or nothing really happens to the background it is there permanently we can go ahead and create a new layer and over here I will rename our layer to typography okay so first thing I'm going to do is go over back to my rectangle tool I'll make sure that my fill is white and since I have got a dark black background I'll make sure my, that my stroke is also white let's go ahead and make this one rectangle like this so I'll copy this by Control plus C go back to edit and choose paste in front option like that okay now with the help of the direct selection tool I'll select this anchor point click on shift and select the other anchor point and with the help of the shift and the right arrow key I'll just shift this to the other side like that like this okay so what I'm going to do next is that I'll select these two and I want to make a mirror image on the other side as well so that it creates this M shape right so while both of these is selected we'll go to object transform and reflect so we'll choose the vertical option and let the angle stay 90 degrees and if you click on preview you can see that the mirror image is formed and we click on copy like that and we just shift it to the other side till it matches like this <coughs> right so what now we're going to do is that <coughs> excuse me we go ahead and add in the colors in all these separate rectangles <coughs> yeah i'm sorry yeah so I'll select the first rectangle and choose a bright color red choose the next one and choose yellow for this choose the third one choose orange and probably choose light green like that so I'll select so once this is done, I'll go ahead and select all of this and now I can remove the stroke 
like that. So what we're going to do next is that we want to add these type of shadows on these folded edges, right? So we'll be going here to this pen tool, and I will be choosing the color black for fill and making sure that there is no stroke, and move my anchor points like this just to create a simple triangle like that so once this is done we can go ahead and again make a mirror image on the other side as well so i'll select my triangle go to object transform reflect Keep it vertical, the angle remains the same and copy. So you just shift it to the other side. Like this. Okay. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna add another shadow right over here. To do that, we'll go back to the pen tool and repeat the similar process. So I'll start from this angle, this point, bring it here, like this, and back. Okay. So now I'll just carefully choose the, sh uh, the these shadowed folded ones, shadows that we just created. And with the help of the transparency tool, reduce the opacity from 100% to 30% like that. And once this is done, we can go ahead, select all of this and make this more bigger like this. There you go. Our trendy folded typography is now ready. So we can go ahead and also save our document. To do that, we go to File and click on Save As. So by default, our file name will be the same, which was which is trendy folded typography. I let it stay the way it is, and I let the Save As type also be Adobe Illustrator, which short for uh, and for short, it's AI file. So I let it be the way it is because in case if I want to make any further changes, I can easily access my AI file and we click on save and okay. That's it. Now that we've come to the end of our video, I hope you found this tutorial to be useful and with, with a little practice, you can go ahead and experiment with different letters as well and create your own folder typography with a similar process. Thank you for watching and stay tuned for more.